Sit back and enjoy it. Tri-City in the alternate gray sweaters. They attack right to left. And tonight's game is underway as the Hawks win the opening faceoff. Shot on side by a Harvard commit, Sean Cohane. Buffalo Sabres draft pick. High in his own Harper. Loads up, shoots one. Save made by Vachon. It's right on the back side. And it's falling towards the line. And I think he found it there. Four shots on the board. And the home team have three of them. Here's Blaise Savoy. Great move here. He's in. Backhand drive. Shut down by Vachon. Here we go on the power play with Rode. They'll swing it back to find Vladislav Lukashevich. Quick pass across. A shot on the way. Good save. Maybe there's a rebound there. Still free. Where is it? And finally, they blow that one down. And then eventually, they swarm and take it away from him. It's a break down the ice. Shorthanded in front. They go. They fire. Save made on Griffin Erdman by Cameron Corpy. They'll hold on to it. Good communication. And they center in front. It goes off with a pat of a Sean and it's covered up. Moves it across the ice here. As they look to play forward, now they got Rode with it. Rode shooting one, good save made by Vachon on a really good shot from Nolan Rode. 39 seconds to play in the period. Storm working here, scoreless tie, looking to change that. Lucas Shevich on goal, big rebound, giving up. They chop it off the post. It's free. They score. Power play goal, one nothing. Nolan Rode jumps on it and puts it in. And a face-off victory here to begin period number two for the Hawks. He circles back around in front of the bench. They push it quickly back to him. Here he is. Good move. He's open in front. Fires across. They score! What a play. It's 2-0 early on in the second period. 19-12 left in period number two. Artemi Nazemayev with a beautiful move. He slides it across, and in it goes. Philip Blaise Savoy, second goal of the season. And Tri-City, another quick one here. 2-0 for the home team. Even strength scoring play for Philip Blaise Savoy. Just 48 seconds into this one. Here we go, Nazemayev open. Fires one. Big rebound given up by Vachon. And fired across to the crossbar. My goodness. On side of a power play. High in the zone they go. Just three seconds left. Down low, in front, through the legs they go, they chop at it, and it's saved by Vachon, he got it with the stick. 8.15, we'll have to go in the second period. And shots on goal, still favoring the Storm at 18.10. Uh, now 8.08 to go in the period, and as it may have looked like he got tripped up there, they let it go, we continue back behind the net. And the Storm work on side, quick try, they score! Tipped in, Augie Falloon! City score, goal! And August Balloon continues to lead the Storm in goals this season. That's his team leading ninth of the year. Intercepted by Waterloo. And they move it. Big check there from McEwen. His helmet came off, but he has to stop participating, and he does. He goes right to the bench. Waterloo centers in on Corpy, grabs it, and then he covers it up. Here's Connolly off the faceoff, holding on to it, steps up, doesn't fire, goes in behind the net, looks to center, in front he goes backhand drive, it's right there, and it's still free, but they blow this one down. Far side of the building, Tri-City steals here behind the net. They'll circle around, no shot, they give to Kensman. That came from Briere, in behind the goal, Kensman, rep chance, free in front, they score! All right, 20 minutes of regulation left. Let's see what we got. Tri-City leading it by four. There's the face off, and the game is indeed on. Um, so they're prepared for everything. Here comes Connolly. Drags it in front, fires. He's knocked down. And Vachon has to deal with a save as Connolly went down. 14-10 now left to go in the third period. Here they come. Three on three as they cross. In front, Corpy has it. Wanted to hold on to it, just couldn't get to it there. So it's still in the zone. Mustard run into on a big hit. Kinsman will be penalized here. Thorson comes over to him. Oh, Waterloo through center. They'll jump on side. Taken away by Bales. Lacroix, rather, trying to move it out. Couldn't do it. They center, they score, and it's 4-1. Power play goal. Storm looking for it. Harper trying to take it away. In front, once more, two times in on goal. Corpy run into. He goes into the back of the goal. The number one team in the league now 12-0-1-0 to start the season. 
Hawks onside, Thoris and he rings it off the post and Tri-City finds it. Balloon on the ice, Nizameo, Smith still out there, McEwen with a big hit. And we continue on. Near side corner, Storm inside the line, Lucas Shevin. They go across, they snap it around to road, shoots one, bounces in, they score! Off the deflection! And that should do it. 6.29 left to go. The Storm have scored another one. This time it goes in off of Artemi Nizamea. Onside for the good guys. Looking for another goal here. Bale snaps it down low. He'll find Carmelo Crandall. And then Luke Posthumus. Posthumus high in the zone. Tough to take it away from him. And he got through three Blackhawks players. Still with it. Shoots one big rebound. They score! Carmelo Crandall. It's his first of the year, the first of his career. What a moment here. Man, awesome sequence there. We keep the puck in at the blue line with the nifty little flip over the stick. Keep going. Classic pad pass off the goalie. Crandall finds that quiet area. Boom, we're in the back of the net. Carmelo's dad, Marcus Crandall, a former quarterback for Edmonton, the Eskimos, also for Calgary Stampeders look out and on goal, they'll score here, and that's one that Corpy might want back. With just five seconds left, what are your thoughts on tonight's game? Yeah, I think that should be huge for our confidence. Obviously, the last two weeks on the road, things didn't probably go the way we wanted it to, so to come back home, put on a good showing, get things back on track, should be a really good thing for the guys moving forward. It's the last face-off. Out towards center it goes, and that's it. And this one's over. And the Storm win it. Final score tonight is 6-2. to two. Star fans, let's hear it for your Tri-City Storm! A 6-2 to two winner!